cable using the rip cord which is embedded in the cable under the armor. Uh, tools you will require are a power drill, preferably battery operated if you're in the field, tape measure to measure the length, uh, special tools provided by radio frequency systems, the jacket removal tool, the armor cutting tool, the ripcord removal kit, which is two mandrels, both the same, one extra, and various clamps depending on the size of the cable you will be removing. Also handy are a pair of uh, cutting scissors and some electrical tape and uh, of course a pair of pliers. Uh, because you're removing sharp metallic armor, you should be wearing gloves and safety glasses. The next step will be to measure the amount of armor that we need to remove and place a mark. This length can vary depending on the amount of armor that needs to be removed. Once you've marked the cable where the cut needs to be, you can place the jacket removal tool onto the cable and remove the jacket. Uh, the center of the tool should be where your mark is located. Next we'll cut through the armor using the armor cutting tool. Place that in the center of the cut and you'll note the wheels on the armor cutting tool will fit into the corrugations on the cable. Gradually tighten it and turn. As you turn, gradually tighten a little more. There is a stop on this tool so you can't cut too deep to damage the fibers underneath. So once you've reached the end stop, you can remove the tool and you should have, and you can see you've cut through the armor. The next step will be to place the stop just above the cup. This will prevent the rip cord from cutting beyond where we've made our cut. This is a, basically a hose type clamp. Once you put it around the cable, this has a finger tab where you can actually tighten it by hand and you can snug it up with a pair of pliers if you would like. What you'll need to do is have the clamp part located opposite the rip cord. And again, the clamp should start right above, immediately above the cut with the worm gear part of it being located opposite of where the rip cord will be. Next step will be to place one of the mandrels into your power drill. And then attach the rip cord to the mandrel. The rip cord has, has a knot in it. If it doesn't, put a knot in. Place the cord into the mandrel with the knot on the outside. Gradually wind your rip cord until it's snug, and now you're ready to start cutting through the armor. Next step is to actually start cutting through the armor with the drill. Use a steady speed on your drill, and uh, you should cut right through the armor and the jacket. As you approach the stop collar, slow down and stop just ahead of the collar. When you reach the cup, reverse your drill and you can unwind your cord. Again, uh, leave about six or eight inches of rip cord for any future time that you may need to remove more armor. Next step will be to remove the jacket, the armor plastic jacket. Just peel that off. And then before we remove the aluminum armor, we want to flare the ends at the beginning of the cut so the cables don't 
get damage. You see I flared away so when we peel the cables they won't get cut into by the sharp edge. Put your pliers underneath the armor and start peeling. Once your armor is removed, you can remove the mylar overlay. Then you'd want to separate the power cords and the blue filler so you can cut out the excess blue filler. After you remove the blue filler, there's a black signature cord that you can also cut away. The tail on the rip cord can be wound around and you can place the electrical tape back over it covering this area and you're ready to begin your installation where we left off.